So I've been here all weekend. Uh, a lot of the Democrats were in Puerto Rico celebrating something. I don't know, maybe they're celebrating the shutdown. Uh, we have a very big crisis, a humanitarian crisis on the border. Everybody knows it, they know it. And many of them are saying, we agree with you. Many of them are calling and many of them are breaking. The Republicans are rock solid. We've got to take care of our border. Many of the people, and they're all going to get their money, many of the people that aren't being paid right now are in total agreement with us. You saw the Border Patrol agents, you saw what was happening. They're in total agreement with us. So we'll see how it all goes. I will tell you this. We have a priority. It's the safety of our nation. The southern border has been horrible for decades, and it's now, because of the success of our country, it's now at a level that we cannot put up with. The Democrats have to do something. We need their votes, otherwise we can't solve it without their votes. They now control the House. Let's see if they can lead. I don't know that they can lead, but we're going to soon find out. President Donald J. Trump took to Twitter Sunday morning trolling the media. Democrats and Speaker Nancy Pelosi in a series of tweets. The Commander-in-Chief isn't sitting back hiding in the corner, instead, he is fighting back exposing the truth. Today marks two years since President Trump was sworn into office, and he bragged about the booming economy under his watch. However, he pointed out how little the media is giving any attention to the facts. He wrote, Always heard that as President, it's all about the economy. Well. We have one of the best economies in the history of our country. Big GDP, lowest unemployment, companies coming back to the United States in big numbers, great new trade deals happening and more. But little media mention. Next, Trump mocked global warming as large parts of the country are seeing a snowstorm sweep across the country. He said, be careful and try staying in your house. Large parts of the country are suffering from tremendous amounts of snow and near record-setting cold. Amazing how big the system is. Wouldn't be bad to have a little of that good old-fashioned global warming right now. The commander-in-chief next slapped down Speaker Pelosi after she refused his border security offer. President Trump wrote, Nancy Pelosi and some of the Democrats turned down my offer yesterday before I even got up to speak. They don't see crime and drugs. They only see 2020, which they are not going to win. Best economy. They should do the right thing for the country and allow people to go back to work. He continued, no, amnesty is not a part of my offer. It is a three-year extension of DACA. Amnesty will be used only on a much bigger deal, whether on immigration or something else. Likewise there will be no big push to remove the 11 million plus people who are here illegally but be careful Nancy. Trump didn't stop there and he completely wrecked Nancy. He wrote, Nancy Pelosi has behaved so irrationally and has gone so far to the left that she has now officially become a radical Democrat. She is so petrified of the lefties in her party that she has lost control, and by the way, clean up the streets in San Francisco, they are disgusting. Trump added, Nancy, I am still thinking about the State of the Union speech, there are so many options, including doing it as per your written offer made during the shutdown, security is no problem and my written acceptance. Well a contract is a contract, I'll get back to you soon. Soon after he turned his attention to border security, the wall, North Korea and the biased media. President Trump said, wow. Just heard that my poll numbers with Hispanics has gone up 19% to 50%. That is because they know the border issue better than anyone, and they want security which can only be gotten with a wall. He also wrote, Don't forget, we are building and renovating big sections of wall right now. Moving quickly, and will cost far less than previous politicians thought possible. Building after all is what I do best, even when money is not readily available. Further he pointed out, the media is not giving us credit for the tremendous progress we have made with North Korea. Think of where we were at the end of the Obama administration compared to now. Great meeting this week with top reps. Looking forward to meeting with Chairman Kim at end of February. President Trump pitching a new deal to end the government shutdown and get his border wall. The president welcoming America's newest citizens during an Oval Office naturalization ceremony before announcing his compromise. 
Our plan includes the following. $800 million in urgent humanitarian assistance. $805 million for drug detection technology to help secure our ports of entry. An additional 2,750 border agents and law enforcement professionals. 75 new immigration judge teams to reduce the court backlog of, believe it or not, almost 900,000 cases. Our plan includes critical measures to protect migrant children from exploitation and abuse. The plan includes $5.7 billion for a strategic deployment of physical barriers, or a wall. This is not a 2,000-mile concrete structure from sea to sea. These are steel barriers in high-priority locations. In order to build the trust and goodwill necessary to begin real immigration reform, there are two more elements to my plan. Number one is three years of legislative relief for 700,000 DACA recipients brought here unlawfully by their parents at a young age many years ago. Secondly, our proposal provides a three-year extension of Temporary Protected Status, or TPS. Now, with a new deal on the table, the ball totally in the Democrats' court. Here to help us break it all down, Fox News national correspondent Ed Henry, Fox News national security strategist Dr. Sebastian Gorka, Republican National Committee spokeswoman Kaylee McEnany, and former congressman and Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz, Ed, we begin with you. Mm -hmm. This totally changes the dynamic now in the Capitol. How has this shifted responsibility? Yeah. Let me tell you what the president said and then tell you what he really meant, and that's the key. He's trying to put Nancy Pelosi on defense. Uh, the, it was basically message, I care. Yeah, I want to talk about the wall, I want to talk about the barrier, but I'm going to talk about humanitarian aid. He's going to help DACA recipients. 700,000 DACA recipients basically get three years of protection. They get to stay in the country while they figure all this out. TPS means protected status for about 300,000 people who are in this country now who could be deported, who are from Honduras, Guatemala, places like that. So those are the details. In exchange, he wants the $5.7 billion for a wall, a barrier, a fence, whatever you want to call it. Here's what he didn't say and, and is the real key. He wants to start in the Senate and not the House. Right. He thinks maybe he can get 60 votes. You now have a stronger Republican majority. 53 Republican senators, and you have moderate Democrats like Joe Manchin. Can he get to 60 votes on a deal similar to this and then put the pressure on Nancy Pelosi? She's trying to drive things now that she's in the House and say, look, I want to reopen the government, but I don't want to give you any money for the wall. Let's put it in the Senate court. Let's put it in the president's court. But has court. Nancy She's said something it. already? Isn't she already throwing She's already water shot on it this down before he, he even gave the speech? Right. And what she's complaining about is that the DACA recipients, for example, will not get a path to citizenship. Right. Well, okay, why did the president leave that out? It's a negotiating. It's the art of the deal, folks. Because if he gave them everything now, then there would be, there would be no compromise. So the idea is right. they come back and say, we'll give you $3 billion for the wall or something like that. And then he says, okay, I'll give you a path to citizenship for the DACA recipient. So look, the point is that the president, going back to the holidays, has been saying, I'm at the White House, I'm ready to negotiate. Pelosi's been in Hawaii, she was wanted to go on a foreign trip. So he grounded Air Pelosi first Air to get Pelosi. back on offense, okay? Right. And now, part two of this strategy from the president, from the White House, is to take the, uh, the initiative, go on offense by saying, I'm driving the legislative train through the Senate, not through the House. Right. All right. So let's bring in the rest of the guys. If you look at this from a very conservative perspective, and let's say, Dr. Gorka, you see the president offering, um, I wouldn't, it's not even amnesty because these people are not going to get voting rights. They're not going to get anything like that. You're basically just extending the status quo on dreamers and these temporary protected status people just for a few more years. I don't see anything that Republicans could vote against. Do you? No, I mean, Ann, Ann Coulter's already tweeting hysterically that we didn't vote for amnesty. This has nothing to do with amnesty. Maybe she's trying to sell books or something. It is simply a grace period, a right. three-year, very compassionate grace period. It is exactly as Ed said. The tables have turned because now 
if Nancy doesn't accept this deal, which is for just 0 0.5, uh, zero one of the federal budget, that's what the five billion dollars is, then she will paint herself herself and all of the Democrats as utterly uncompassionate. Right. And those because are crumbs. Those said? are just those are merely crumbs right. to put it in right. some terms to, to, that the, the speaker word. can understand. Um, Kaylee, th he's offering, I think, 230 miles of additional border wall and those are the steel slats that you can see through that give increased visibility and he's also doing a lot of other things for humanitarian reasons as ed pointed out do you see the possibility of the senate getting 60 votes on this i think it's a slam dunk Oh, I think this is a slam dunk in the Senate. Of course, you'll have to have a few Democrats come over. We've padded our Republican majority. But I think you're right. Look, this is a very fair compromise. And it's everything, literally everything, or at least a lot of what Democrats have asked for and have talked about supporting. And let's just get to the point here with regard to the House and Nancy Pelosi. Democrats are fakers. Democrats are posers. And the reason I say that is they said they want DACA legal legalization. Well, this is a great first step toward that. They say that they wanted a barrier on the southern border just five years ago when they voted on it in the Gang of Eight bill. Now they don't. Uh, they've posed and they faked their way. This is the, the plan they've always wanted, and here they are rejecting it. Right. So right now you've had Nancy Pelosi try to leave the country. You've had other people in the House go to Puerto Rico and take their shirts off and hang out during the shutdown. I don't see how the media, as biased as they are, Jason, how they can paint th this president and the Republican Party as anything other than willing to compromise and negotiate. No, I think Donald Trump has played that just right. He's been reasonable. He's been tempered. He showed compassion. And he also indicated that if we can get this deal done, that on a, on a weekly basis, he would invite them in in a bipartisan way to figure out the rest of immigration. I don't know what you can ask right. for. And I hope every single federal worker who's not getting a check, watch that video and then listen to Nancy and Chuck and tell us who is reaching out their hand, who's being reasonable, and who's actually trying to solve this problem. That's a great point because he said this is just the beginning. And you you know, they can address chain migration, lottery, the asylum loopholes, all that other stuff. Maybe just invite them over and serve some Whoppers and Big Macs. That seems to work. <laughs>